Oh my god, the weather. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, very, very quick intro just because I am running late as usual. But we have a train to catch. Me and my boyfriend are going to go and do, we do like an annual trip in London. Oh, here's my brother. We do like an annual trip to London every Christmas. We usually go to Winter Wonderland, but I don't think we're actually going to do that this year. Um, I do need to be quick, so I'll talk to you more when I'm there. I'll show you my outfit. Love this coat. I got it from Primark. Well, my mum got it for me. as like a little early Christmas present. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get moving now, and then I'll speak to you when I'm there. One, because my brother is about to want an argument about something and two i'm really late excuse my hair it's literally it's really windy it's not cold at all though like i'm actually quite hot um but we're in london now we've just walked from victoria what square is this trafalgar square we just got to the trafalgar square and there's like a christmas market on um so we're gonna have a little walk around here we're just kind of walking around like what we usually do i can't sort this out um, but yeah, we're just going to have a walk around, probably stop somewhere soon and get a drink. But as we've come across this Christmas market, we're just going to have a little look around it. I feel really awkward. God, my hair wasn't ruined enough. The spray from the fountain is coming about a mile out. I'm soaking wet. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it go in. God. band in because my hair was just not playing but well, i wanted to get oh my goodness i wanted to get some um earmuffs but we're i didn't manage to get some before we came and we're not going near a shop just yet um but we've just been we went to covent garden first but it was obviously really busy so we've come to we're still in covent garden aren't we but we yeah, came to Dolls, seven dials just to have a quick drink and now we're going to make our way back over to covent garden and have a look around there we're just kind of doing like little tour of london today what like, we usually do like christmasy go over to oxford street later i need to show you a little outfit today maybe i'll do it now quickly headband is from primark this jacket is an exact dupe can you hold my phone two seconds please thank you it's an exact dupe of that viral zara one this cost me 40 pounds didn't even cost me 40 pounds it cost me <laughs> i got it as an early christmas present i don't know if i've already said that um, but it's literally an exact dupe. I'm so warm in it. Um, and then I've just got this long sleeve Zara bodysuit on and Zara white tracksuit bottom. Shoes, I've got, you can't even see, I've got my off whites and then I've just got my Balenciaga bag. Uh, Jewelry, I've got earrings from Primark, Abbott Lion bracelet, Abbott Lion necklace, and that's everything. And then I've got some gloves for later but yeah i just thought i'd quickly show you my outfit now before it got too late my hair was looking nice before we came and now it's like this but we'll deal with it should we start walking cool
day i don't actually know how much i ended up filming yesterday basically we had such a nice day however it was busy 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 to start off with it was fine and then i don't know like what i i know i definitely filmed like snippets that will probably be in a montage but i don't know how much i actually spoke to the camera um by the time we got to like we did 23,000 steps yesterday um, by the time we got around like Regent Street, Oxford Street, like you could not move. I was literally walking around like this and stuff like that. I really don't, I, I just get a bit, pa not panicked, but I just really don't like big, big crowds like that. Um, and also it wouldn't have been safe for me to walk around my camera out. So I didn't film anything from then. Um, I can't actually remember what the last thing I filmed was, but we just went to a couple of bars. Um, we had a walk around, looked at the lights. We didn't actually go to Winter Wonderland this year just because we've been every year since we've been together. So we've been like nine years in a row. Um, and it, it's the same every time. And obviously I went last week as well and the tickets were sold out today. Um, so we was like, shall we go another day? But we're both quite busy going through December and this was like the one weekend that we really had like fully free. So we was like, Do you know what? I've been this year. We've been plenty of times, let's just go. I just like going up to London, walking around, feeling Christmassy, so that's what we did. We're all waiting to I'm go. I'm down right now, right this second. Just okay. let me finish this bit. Yeah. Oh. Hi, guys. Okay, that's my cue to hurry up. But today is the day that we're putting up the family Christmas tree. Um, I didn't know that we was going uh, to the pub for a drink together first. Apparently we do it every year, I don't think we do. But I got home from Keir's house this morning and everyone was like, are you gonna be ready then? And I was like, what for? Um, so I've got ready in about half an hour, hence the slick hair. My outfit is pretty similar to yesterday. I'm kind of re-wearing things just because I had no idea what to, like I didn't know we was going out and the weather's pretty rubbish. Um, so earrings again are Primark. My hoodie is just this gray hoodie. I think it's from Missy Empire. I wear it in every video. Jacket is um, Primark from the Rita Ora collection. And then I've just got on the same white joggers as yesterday, which is probably a mistake. I think they're a little bit dirty around the bottom, but the, the weather's rubbish anyway. And I'm so, I don't know what to wear. I needed to chuck something on quickly. And then I've got my real ultra mini Uggs. But when we was in Primark yesterday, I was like, I was just like, I, I have my real ones and I'm always too scared to wear them. You can't wear them when it rains. And I was like, I kind of want like a fake pair just so I can wear when the weather is literally how it is today. And they just, you know, like I put so many outfits together and I'm like, I need my Uggs for this, but the weather's rubbish. So I just kind of, we was in Primark last night and I, there was, they had them for seven pounds. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get myself a pair. If they get ruined, they get ruined. So that's what I'm wearing today. They're a different colour to my normal ones as well. They're more like um, a sandy colour. Excuse my socks. <laughs> I'm just cold. But I just thought like for £7, if they get dirty, they get dirty. So that is my outfit. Oh, I have a clip hanging out my hair. We're back now um, from the pub. We've had a couple of drinks and now... Dad's putting the light on the trees, that's that's his job. Um, and then we're gonna just decorate. So I'll probably do, oh God, these aren't flattering on my bum. Um, we're gonna decorate, have a Chinese, we've opened the Prosecco. So I'll probably do like a little montage of what I can, um, but I'm pretty sure my family won't wanna be on camera. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, I'm really excited, honestly, putting the Christmas tree up. The family Christmas tree. I love putting mine up, but the family Christmas tree is honestly like one of my favourite days of the year. Second, mm, third, I don't know. It's one of the days that I love. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that now. I'm starving. I'm so ready for this Chinese. Um, I think then Kia's going to come around after. And I want to watch a Christmas film, but it is, um, I'm a celebrity final, so... I don't know, but I'm gonna have to this week, honestly, let me put you up here. It's gonna make me really blue. This lighting is not it, but my arms are aching. I'm gonna have to write myself a schedule because basically, I need some hand cream. Usually, I've watched all the Christmas films I need to by now, but as it stands, I counted on my hands this morning because I was having like a rant to care about it. 
I've got about 15 left to watch that I want to get watched. And I think usually I'll watch them through November as well. But because Big Brother was a thing, which obviously it hasn't been for the last couple of years, I'm really behind. And then obviously we went straight into I'm a Celebrity. And then I work Friday and Saturday nights. I'm just, I'm so behind. So I've written down everyone that I want to get through. And I'm going to, we've got two weeks till Christmas. By the time you watch this, it probably will be like a couple of days before Christmas. But I'm, I have no time to fit films in so i'm gonna make a schedule i'm gonna try and get one christmas film in a day and i'm gonna get through them because i will feel so sad i think we'll probably put elf on tonight i have already seen elf if you watch my last vlog that is the plan i'll probably do a montage from here but yeah just before i start the first thing that i'm about to do is fill every wax burner in our house with these it's the winter spice from b and i've got it in my one already i only changed this yesterday so i don't need to put it in but i'm gonna go and put it in all my family's one I'm looking pretty much exactly the same as probably the last clip that you saw but it's actually a couple of weeks later it's the 21st of December today Christmas is coming around so quick I've just checked what I look like in my phone front camera and I am looking rough I'm trying to scrub all my fake tan off ready to do a fresh layer for Christmas like it's all systems go which is why I'm coming on now to wrap up this vlog I have finished editing it and I realized one it wasn't very long and also i didn't finish it um it didn't feel right i feel like it's my last video of the year so i didn't want to finish it one on a really short video but two without signing the video off signing off the year so yeah i've just spent the last couple of days kind of signing off everything i'm not actually taking well i say i'm not taking any time off over christmas i have just basically said if anyone wants a personal training session they can have one if they want to miss it for the week i completely understand so i'm kind of just working as and when but in terms of like sitting down at a laptop work i wanted to try and get all of that wrapped up by tonight latest tomorrow morning so i was going to film a little bit extra tomorrow but i just thought <laughs> there's a lot to get done i've got like five to-do lists on my phone like five separate to-do lists one for myself, one for like organising, cleaning, wrap, like there's just so much things, there's just so much to get done. I've not wrapped anything yet. I think I've bought everything for everyone. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm getting up and I'm doing the Christmas food shop with my mum. Um, and then I'm going to spend the day wrapping because Saturday I still have to do, I've got some clients and then I have work at the pub in the evening. Um, so I just kind of want to get everything done today. Tomorrow I need to, I've got Christmas films to fit in still. So I just wanted to come on now and finish the video off for the year. If you hear any noises, I've left it to the worst time. Um, exactly. I don't know if you would have been able to hear that, but I rest my case. Everyone's just got home from work and I've been... Christmas shopping with my mum today. I'm actually done. I've been done for a while, but she just needed to get a couple more bits. So I thought I'll go with her to keep her company. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit later in the day now. So hence why I'm looking a little bit rough and hence all the noises. But like I said, I feel like this is my last video for the year. This is probably going to go up New Christmas Eve or... Oh, I can't. Um, better move my arms. I'm shaking the camera. Um, this is either going to go up Christmas Eve or in the week between like Christmas and New Year. So this probably will be my last video. So I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for all of you that have supported me this year. Anyone that subscribed to me, anyone that's watched my videos, left comments, anything like that. 2023 was actually the year that I got monetized on YouTube. So like I say, thank you so so much to anyone that supported me because obviously I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for everyone watching my videos and I just feel so grateful. I feel like I've just had this love for YouTube for so long and to finally kind of hit a goal on it. To start it in itself was a big goal of mine but to actually like hit another goal I just feel so grateful that I'm kind of doing what younger me really wanted to do. 
I also qualified as a PT this year and also started my own business in that and I just, I literally was saying this to Kia the other day, like I just feel so grateful right now, like no, my life may not be perfect, but is anyone's, but just to see myself, um, like thinking back to this time last year, I was in a completely different position, I feel like I've spoken about this a couple of times throughout the year, but I just had the worst anxiety about everything. I was really, really suffering with my mental health. Um, I was in a job that I just didn't want to be in at all. Um, and I honestly cried every single day, every single day. Like this time last year and at the start of this year, don't get me wrong, it's not been, and even though I have had this year that's been a lot better than last year, it's still not, I feel like right now, like I say, everything on here is like a highlight reel and I do try to not make it like a, just a highlight reel. I, I do like to talk about things that don't necessarily go so good, but I did just want to come on here and kind of like, I do feel proud of myself for the year. Um, so yeah, just looking back at like this time last year where I was crying every single day. Me and Charlie, who you've seen on the vlogs so many times, um, we talk like over videos. So we send each other videos of us talking. I don't know why, I feel like we're both quite like expressionate people. So that's just how we've always spoken. And I found one of the videos from that. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like at the start of the year, we was both saying to each other, like, just push through this. Like, we're both going to be in so much of a better place by the end of it. And I feel like a lot of the things that I was saying to him, I've achieved. And I feel so proud of myself for doing that. Um, I don't think I shared, like, my New Year goals this year just because I wanted to keep them... Last year, like I said, I had quite a bad year and I just wanted to keep my goals private to kind of work on them myself and then it wasn't any pressure to have this great year or anything like that. Um, I also just, I just want to keep saying like it's not been this fantastic year, trust me, it's had its moment. Obviously losing my dog at the end of this year has been probably one of the worst things to happen to me ever. I don't even want to, it makes me want to cry every time I speak about it. I've been really feeling like, it feels weird to talk about feeling grief for an animal, but for me, he literally was like my baby. And I feel like coming up to Christmas, like I've just been finding all these videos of him at Christmas and it's been really hitting me this week. So yeah, like I say, as much as I'm saying right now, how like proud and stuff I am on myself and I have had so much of a better year to last year, it still had its down moments, 100%. But I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling on. I feel like I kind of, I felt like I wanted to come on here and just kind of give myself a little bit of a pat on the back, but also I don't want it to seem like I'm like, I've had this great year because it's not the case and I don't really think it would be the case for anyone. But yeah, I feel like I'm already going off on a tangent, but yeah, I qualified as a personal trainer. I took the leap in becoming self-employed pretty much straight away with that and that's something, again, that I'm so proud of myself for because everyone was kind of telling me not to. And I can see why they was telling me not to. And again, like I say, I've had my moments where I'm like, I've just made it 10 times harder for myself. But I'm so proud of myself for doing it. And I'm so lucky that it's working out for me. So as well, I'm just really grateful for my clients as well. And everyone that supported me in like that aspect of my life as well. I just, yeah, I just feel really grateful. I think this year I'm gonna do the same type of thing as I did last year, like not necessarily share my goals. I'm gonna create a vision board and I'm gonna set that as a little challenge for everyone as well. Create a vision board in the time between Christmas and New Year. It's it's kind of like an exciting activity. I really enjoy doing it. I do mine on Pinterest. Um, well, that's how I've done it in the past. I'll just create like a, is it a pin? I don't know, and just save loads of photos to it to look back on. Um, but I kind of want to do it as an actual board this year. But it's kind of just, like I say, an exciting activity. It makes me feel really motivated for the new year. It kind of puts me in a good mindset. For the year ahead i feel like the new year can be really daunting to a lot of people and i feel like there's like a lot of pressure surrounding like new year new me i feel like everyone feels like they need to set these massive goals and they have to achieve them otherwise they've failed and it's just not the case at all i feel like 
one of my biggest things this year has just been do what works for you if you you can probably hear my brother's voice now but if you thrive off of setting yourself goals and really working towards achieving them then great do that but also if you want to take the pressure off and not set goals and just take it day by day that's absolutely fine too that's not failing at the new year new me type of thing like it just it doesn't have to be one or the other like just do what works for you and i just feel like that's been that's been my motto this year is just do what works for you i've got my percy pig christmas pajamas on but yeah i feel like i'm rambling on too long and we don't want this to be a really long video i feel like don't really know what I'm trying to say, but I just I just wanted to come on and finish the video and say I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a lovely day just doing something that you enjoy. I also feel like this time of year isn't everyone's favourite and I'm so conscious of the fact that I push it on everyone that this is my favourite time of year, but I feel like it can be... Like I say, not everyone's favourite type of year, but also very lonely and some people just really don't enjoy it. So if that is the case for you, then please make sure you reach out to someone. I know it's not always as easy as it sounds, but my DMs are always open as well if anyone ever needs to talk about anything at all. But yeah, I hope you'll have a lovely day doing whatever you choose to do. I hope you have a lovely new year as well. I don't really know what I'm doing for New Year's Eve. I feel like, again, there's a lot of pressure surrounding that. Um, and I just never really know what to do anymore. Like, I don't really like clubbing, clubbing as such. I feel like tickets are always overpriced. It's overcrowded. You can never actually end up getting a drink. Taxis cost so much. Um, and I just feel like when I've done that before, it's ended up being a disappointment. And there's not really anything around here. And I just didn't get around to planning anything. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. This is when I can't wait to have a house and just for our party for everyone that I love. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely new year as well. I will see you in the new year um, with lots of new videos. I really want to be on my YouTube game next year. I feel like I go through phases in and out, um, but I really want to start making like a hard, hard effort with it. I feel like I'm going to do some fitness related videos getting into the new year as well. Just because I feel like it's a time of year where people really want to kickstart their fitness journey. And obviously I want to help as many people as I can. So I feel like I'm going to do a couple of videos surrounding that. Not too much because I know it's not for everyone. But if there is any videos in particular that you would like to see or anything that you kind of need help with. Then please comment it down below or message me over on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video and once again, thank you so, so much for supporting me throughout the year. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the new year.